Welcome Wolves hockey fans to another edition of the Wolves Hockey Show, where we bring you clips, highlights, news, information, and more each week on what's going on in the Wolves program. I'm Andrew Trimble, and here with my co-host. I'm Tim Cuse. And we had a great weekend of Wolves hockey last weekend. We went 10-1 and in our 11 games. Teams competed in the playoffs. We did a ton of community service activities, and we had a, just an awesome weekend altogether. What do you think, Coach? Yeah, it was another great weekend, and uh, looking forward to seeing some of the highlights. Yeah, well, let's go to the 14s first. Yeah, the 14s played two games this weekend in the playoffs, uh, and they won 9-1 to one and 7-3. to three. That's some awesome results. We have a clip coming up here of Zach Spicuza. And with our U14 team, you see there unbelievable goal by Zach Spicuza. Falling down, still manages to score. That was a great goal by Spicuza, huh? Yeah, really, really incredible. Now, how did the 16s do last weekend? Yeah, so our U16 team was also in the NEPHL playoffs, and they won both of their games. Uh, first one was 6-1, to one, and then 3-1 to one as well. That's awesome. They, uh, they've, they've peaked at the right time. They've been all season. They've been playing great, but it looks like their scores are even you know, increasing the, the margin there. They're really playing well, huh? Yeah, it's a good time of the year in the playoffs to be playing your best hockey. Yep. I know our U18 teams had playoffs this weekend as well. How'd they do? Yeah, Coach Potenza's team, uh, you know, they made the playoffs on the last day of the regular season, uh, and then they got a tough draw in the first round. They had to play Quincy 67s, which were the number one seed in the, uh, in the league. They were the fourth seed. And then first game out of the shoot, game one on Friday, they won... Uh, they won 5-3, to three, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, that's great. And then uh, they followed that up. They had to play another number one seed because they were the lowest seed in the, uh, in the league, and they lost in the second round. But uh, really, you, know, you, can't, you, know, you can't fault them there. They, they competed hard against the best teams in the league, and they battled throughout, and they did pretty well. Yeah, that was a, a good finish for, for their season as the players get ready for their high school teams. Absolutely. For information on the Wolves U18 split season team, and their final results, check out the story up on the Wolves website, ne-wolveshockey.com. It'll feature a great quote from Coach Potenza and a final recap for the season. Now, Coach, your EHL Premier Team was in action this weekend. Yeah, we had a great weekend. We uh, had a three-game homestand against the Vermont Lumberjacks, a team that's always a really difficult opponent right in our Northern Conference. Um, and we took all three. We swept the weekend with Friday wins, Saturday wins, and Sunday wins. We got some clips we're going to show of those three, three wins. So here is Friday night's game winner. Starts with a D-zone face-off. We have the Z-boats line out there. We lose the face-off, but Matika makes a nice play to get it out of the zone. Uh, Z-boats wins the battle, gets zone entry, kicks it out to Corwin, who gives it back to him for a great finish. Wolves would take a 3-0 lead here and win the game 5-2. to two. Saturday night's game winner. Starts with a D-zone face-off. It's late in the game, about a minute to go. Pickens line is out there. They lose the draw, but Kochani makes a great block. Jelensky is here, carries the puck through neutral ice and makes a great play on the defender. Finishes his own play to take a 3-2 lead with about a minute to go in the game. Wolves would, would win 3-2. This is Sunday's game winner. Wolves had a power play early in the third period. They stretched the Vermont penalty kill out, and Noah Wirth makes a great play on the back door to take a 2-0 lead. Wolves would win by a final score of 3-1, completing the weekend sweep. So that was the EHLP's 10th win in a row, sweeping that three-game series against Vermont. But, you know, the EHL had a fantastic weekend, too. Coach, tell me about the EHL weekend. Yeah, so our EHL team also played the Vermont Lumberjacks uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, coming into the weekend, Vermont was the number one team in the league. Uh, I think 15 wins out of 17 games. So, um, And then we, we managed to win the first game 7-4, to four, and the second game was 5-3. to three. We won both games. Both games came from behind and got the win. Fantastic results. Yeah, it was really a great weekend, great uh, effort from everyone on the team. Great, let's see some clips. Here we have a clip from Saturday's game. This is Gabriel Jadoin to Jack Loran and Julius Kvandal scores his first goal of the season. That closed the gap to three to two. And now from Sunday's game, this, this goal, first goal of the game was Wolves were on the power play. 
Uh, good work to retrieve pucks. Wolf stayed on top of it and, and kept working. Eventually the puck will come to the right point where Robbie Hake would take a shot and Sean O'Gorman scored on the rebound. That was the first goal from Sunday's game. Also from Sunday's game, Vermont would break the puck out here. Good four check from the Wolves. Puck ends up behind the, the net. Robbie Hake again clears it out. The Wolves go in on a three on one. Jack Loran takes a shot and Sam Willman buries the rebound. That would be the game winning goal on Sunday. This goal here on Sunday would put the game out of reach for the Wolves. The puck will end up to Gabriel Jadoin. Great pass to Jack Loran. The Wolves would go on to win 5-3, to three, completing the weekend sweep of the Lumberjacks. So those are some fantastic results against one of the best teams in the league. Uh, and we, you know, we weren't predicted to win those games, but uh, we really showed some heart, some determination, some metal, and got it done. What do you think, Coach? Yeah, I think it was, like I uh, said before, it was a really great team effort from everyone and uh, some really good results that we'll be hoping to build upon next weekend. Now, who were some of the standout players from the EHL team this past weekend? Yeah, this past weekend, Matt Steffen played in goal both games. He played excellent. Um, Gabriel Jadoin, a player from Ford from Canada, uh, was really good. And uh, Jack Loran, uh, who we've mentioned before on this show, scored some big goals this weekend, too. Yeah, and, you know, in addition to the wins on the ice, we did some nice things off the ice. We had three community service projects that... Uh, the boys were really involved with. Um, tell me about Friday night's community service project that the EHL team did. Yeah, so Friday night, uh, the Wolves EHL team was involved in setting up the Christmas Village in downtown Laconia, which uh, is an event that uh, we've been a part of now for several years. And I know that the, the guys enjoy setting that one up, uh, and uh, it's a great, great uh, project to be a part of. Yeah, I mean, my kids, they go to that every year, and they, they, they love popping in the Christmas Village. Now the second project we did uh, was an EHLP project, the Learn Escape program. Uh, we've been doing that for six, uh, for, for three weeks this so far. We do it for three more weeks, for six weeks total. And uh, the boys are really, they love, love being involved with the, the, the Learn the Skaters. Now the third project we did was on Sunday's game, was the New Hampshire Humane Society donation uh, community service project. Tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, so for Sunday's game against Vermont was the uh, to benefit the New Hampshire Humane Society. So we collected donations for uh, different items, uh, pet food and pet toys and things like that that will be dropped off over there. Absolutely. And here we have a shot of the ceremonial puck drop uh, from the Humane Society game. Uh, this is pre-game and we have uh, the captains of, of each team as well as Riker as uh, the little puppy there. So those were awesome results, huh, Coach? Yeah, it really was a, a great weekend and, and a great week previous with all the, the community service. I know we have an exciting guest that all the viewers are really excited for. Who do we have today? We have Noah Worth, one of the uh, leaders on the EHLP team. Let's bring him in. So here we have EHLP forward Noah Worth. Uh, Noah is one of the only New Hampshire residents who's on our EHLP junior team. And he's been with our program for several years. Welcome aboard, Noah. Thanks, Coach. It's nice to be here. Now, tell me about your start in hockey, Noah. Tell me, uh, you know, where did, it, where did it all begin for you? So, uh, my, I grew up in Northfield, New Hampshire. My best friend's name is also Noah, and he lives right down the road from me. And uh, his older brother was playing hockey, and he got me into it, too. We grew up playing Learn to Skate together, started in Concord, came to Laconia when I was about 10, and been in Laconia ever since. Awesome. Now, you've, uh, after, after growing up in the Lakers program and Concord's program, uh, you played a little high school hockey. Where did you play your high school hockey? Yeah, I played for Laconia Winnesquam for uh, two years and uh, played under a couple different coaches and had a little bit of fun. Awesome. And then uh, our first ever U16 split midget team, Noah was a member of that team. Uh, that's going back how many years now? Uh, five years now. So coach Jay Launder, the uh, assistant coach for Plymouth State, was my first coach. So going back five years now, you've been a uh, Wolves member for five years. Tell me about some of your experiences kind of growing up in the, in the first Split midget program and now being a member of the EHLP program. Well, first off, back in my day, our gym was upstairs, which was a little <laughs> bit different, but that was fun. 
So uh, through the years, we've gotten through some adversity. And my first year on the P team was not quite the best team, but we battled through and we did what we could. And then coming into the last year was a huge difference. And seeing that team come together and seeing what we were able to do and build a championship out of it was a lot of fun. Very good. Well, tell me about the championship season. Uh, last year, you were a member of the Wolves EHLP championship season. Uh, we got, got, went through the playoffs, got uh, into the finals in Providence. Tell me about that whole playoff run and some of the memorable moments. So uh, most memorable moments were definitely when we went into Boston and we were in Tewksbury. And we were playing the number one ranked Boston Junior Rangers. And we were in and out battle with them all year. We went 3-3-1 three, three and one with them in the regular season. And it was even. It was a tight race. And uh, we kicked butt two games in a row. And we made it to Providence. And everyone was just so excited. And all the boys just came together. And it was a great feeling. Awesome. Awesome. And, and you know, on last year's championship team, we had uh, 25 different kids from all over the place. You've had a number of those kids now onto Coach Coons' EHL team. A yep. number of those kids are returning. Tell me about some of those relationships with the guys. Who are you closest to on the team? Who are some of the, uh, the players that you've kind of grown up here with the Wolves? Well, one of my best friends probably is Jeff Braun. Like, being close with him through the years, we've been PK partners now for two years. We know where each other's going to be, and it's been fun to play with them through the PK because gotten a few goals out of it, had some fun, and got rid of those penalties. <laughs> now, no, you kind of serve as a different type of role on the team. Uh, some people would call it an agitator on the team. What, uh, what about your personality gets under guys' skins during games? Um, that's a good question. I think I'm just able to talk a little bit, tell them, what they, tell them what's up, and uh, then go out and give them points on the board, too. I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> I can get under a kid's skin and finish the check and also make a good pass to a player and get him a puck and get a goal out of it. So That's great. That's great. Now, um, that's one of the things I think that you, you do well is, uh, you, you know, you serve as, as a, an important role in the team. Mm -hmm. You know, we have different guys who might be on the power play one game or different guys who could be scoring a lot of goals, different guys could be, you know, saving goals or s stopping the puck. But you kind of fit in that, that, that in-between role where mm -hmm. you're contributing offensively, where you're playing well defensively, and then you're killing penalties, and you're kind of, uh, kind of a jack of all trades. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, what does the future hold in store for you, Noah? Um, well, it's my last year juniors, and I'm looking at a couple colleges, a couple ACHA schools, and actually recently just went down and had a visit at Keene State with uh, Coach Bobby. That's great. That's great. What, do you, what attracted you to Keene State? What, um, what are some of the, the things that are exciting about you about potentially being at Keene State? Well, for hockey purposes, their rink is almost brand new, and it's a beautiful facility. And uh, the school itself, I like the size and the body itself, and the food was very, very good. So <laughs> the food needed. is good. What, now, what do, you, what do you want to study potentially? Uh, environmental sciences. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming on, Noah. And uh, you know, you're, you've had a great couple weeks here. You're, you're putting points on the board. Team is on a 10 and 0 win streak. So keep going. Thanks, Coach. Great nice job. to be here. Great interview with Noah there, Coach. Yeah, Noah's really become a, you know, a consistent member of the program. You know, whether starting off in the 16s being our local New Hampshire guy for the EHLP and then being a member of the EHLP team's last three years, you know, he's, he's come a long way. Come yeah, a long way. definitely has. Now tell me about the 14s and 16s. What do they have coming up this weekend? Yeah, so both our U14 and U16 teams have any PHL playoffs this weekend down in Walpole, Mass. Uh, so they'll be looking to get some good results. Yeah, the, right now the 16s are sitting in first place, so they got that they, they got a you know a nice road ahead of them, and the 14s they snuck in the playoffs. Even though they have an 8-2-2 two two record, uh, they got some great teams in that league. So uh, you know, as the fourth seed, they're going to have a tough hill to climb, but they can do it. Coach Garen will have them ready. Oh yeah, we know he will. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, and coach, you're playing with the EHL Premier Team this weekend. Yes, we have our last two games before holiday break. We got a game home on uh, on Saturday versus the Walpole Express. And then another home game uh, against the Boston Junior Rangers. Those are both Northern Conference opponents. Uh, those are our last two games before the team has like a, a good seven-day break where they can go home and spend time with their families. Uh, so they're valuable points. You want to get want to get those last two wins before break. Now tell me about EHL team. What do you guys got this weekend? So EHL team also has its last two games before the Thanksgiving break. Uh, Friday we're down in Cape Cod taking on the Seahawks, and then Saturday back at home, and we're playing against the Valley Junior Warriors. Okay, great. Those are two Northern Conference opponents. Those are, are they going to be gunned for you though, after that, that great weekend against Vermont? That's for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely be looking to build upon that success. Awesome. Now, uh, we got some clips and some images of our Learn to Skate program. Uh, this is something we do every single Saturday with our EHLP team members. Uh, they're interacting with the community, 
Um, they're, they're, they're getting out there and teaching those youngest kids how to skate, and uh, it makes a big impact on these kids. What do you think, Coach? Yeah, I think it's a great program to be involved in, to volunteer for. And thanks for joining us on another week's episode of the New England Wolves Hockey Show. For more information, you can go to any-wolveshockey.com. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.